Creepers. Good morning to you crazy creeps. Oh, that is good. I swear the older I get, the better coffee tastes. <laughs> the more I need it. And it's raining, but that's okay, because guess what? It's my birthday. That's right, we're creeping. Little birthday creeping today. I'm actually 42, born October 28th, 1980. Time flies when you're creeping. Stay tuned, do a little birthday creeping. Wow, thanks mom. You know me, I love candy too. Ooh, I'm gonna have me a slice of pie with coffee. Oh man, this is awesome. Starting the morning off with some warm, hot coffee. And check this out, Mama Creeper got me a pecan pie. So I'm gonna have me a little piece of pecan pie for breakfast, for my birthday. Mmm. That is delicious. Mmm. And last week, Mama Creeper got me the new Simpsons calendar for the new year, which I'm always stoked. I've definitely been collecting these for a long time, just about every year. So thanks again, Mom. I love you very much. And yeah, got me new shoes too. So pretty darn cool. Yes. And just got this really nice card too from my mom. Absolutely love this. Mama Creeper's been the best to me, you guys. My whole life. She's like my best friend. And always the first to bring me something for my birthday. And, um, yeah, I just, I love you, Mom. Thank you. Southeast. That was the mortuary. That's the one my brother threw me in and hold the door open. He pushed you in there? Huh. During Halloween time? No, we'd go to the movies. And we'd see Frankenstein when I was just a little kid. And him and Buzzy would push me in the oh, door and hold right. the door. Oh, that's right. They had the movie theater yeah. there. So they played all the old horror yeah. movies? Yeah. Oh, that's creepy. At 7 and 8, going there at night with, you know. That's scary. Yeah. Buzzy and my brother did that to me all the time. This neighborhood's already kind of... This was my neighborhood. This crow just this like... This where I played. That crow wow, weird, jumped right man. in front of your car. This is weird. Brings back memories, huh? There's your old cat's house. Wow, that house was cool. Look Didn't you guys did. call that the witch's house? No, this was Cheryl Tapp's house. Oh. This was my best friend's house here. This one on the corner? Yep, right here, Cheryl Tapp's Which one did you guys call the witch's house? Oh, I'll show you. It's up here a ways? Cheryl Tapp's house. Wow, it's pretty it's through here, so isn't time. it? This is no, it? That's not it. Oh no. no it was the right next here. door one. Look yep. at this. Would you look 3209. Did you look at it? I want to see My grandma's house. So much. Wow. Jeez. Dang. Been a long time, huh? Mm, wow. Well. Uh, I remember sleeping up in that room and stuff. I put that roof up on there. I definitely miss grandma. Wow, I used to sit on that porch. It was a long porch. Yep. It's a beautiful home. All these home. homes through here are pretty. God, I played crazy here. Look at the purple house. So this is the Marquette apartment? No, this... it was a house. Oh, oh, I see. The little house was like back behind yes. these two. Yes, But it wasn't like a big house. He lived in like almost like a little, little shack thing, house. wasn't it? It was a small house. Do you remember the guy, his first name? No. I can look it up, but Marquette. Yeah, he was the serial killer mm -hmm. in Southeast Portland. He's still alive. And he's at the Oregon Penitentiary. Yeah. And yeah, they said his house would have been basically right in between these two properties here. Right up here. Right up in there. Mm -hmm. Would have been the Marquette yeah. house. And what? And he dismembered people through the yeah. neighborhood? In fact, where we just came, there was a field there, and that's where her fingers were found. They found body parts mm -hmm. all throughout Southeast. Mm -hmm. I found some articles, too, I'll insert so you guys can see. But a lot of these houses were... The body parts were left all over Southeast Portland. 
And then you said you saw him with a briefcase, right? We saw him. As it was being investigated? Yeah. I mean, it was a... Wow. And after hearing this story about Marquette dismembering his murder victims and then seeing this, I mean, I know it is Halloween time, but that is absolutely horrifying. Well, that's awesome. Just got back from a little creeping with Mama Creeper and got another card from my dad. And it had a gift card in it. So that is Happy Cake and Ice Cream Day. Nice. Thanks, Pops. Love ya. Huge congratulations to my buddy Tom. And make sure you get a hold of me via my email. I believe you have it already, Tom. But you are the winner of the creepy contest with your awesome impression, man. <laughs> that was absolutely hilariously good. Um, you nailed it. And thank you for everybody else that, that did do that and also sending over new creepers. But Tom, congratulations, bud. You'll be getting this in your mail soon. As soon as you send me your address, I'll get this out to you. But again, thanks to anybody that took the time out of your day to send some folks over. Or if you did enter your submission, we had some good ones. Uh, but my buddy Tom's takes the cake. And again, there was a lot of entries. Um, so thanks again for anybody that did send some folks over. That means a lot to me. I do appreciate that. Nailed it. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first creep. And if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.